just finished performing an annual service on uh, two YS rotary chillers. Replaced the cores, replaced the suction filters, checked the shaft seal, rotated that so it's not sitting on the bearings for longer periods of time. These are standby chillers. They have two Nequois centrifugals that they put in, so I can rotate the shaft so that it's not constantly on one, one center point. Uh, replaced the glide coil with the, the startup checks on the solid state starter. Filter's done. This chiller is going to be offline for a while. Um, the old heaters are shot. This was a recent change out, a recent revision from the first revision. Sorry, let me correct myself. The first revision back in the 90s where they used a heater probe and thermal sensing elements inside the, chill, inside the all separator. So you can see here. That's the actual heater. And this is the sensing element. So both go into the body of the all separator, which is full, but not operational. It's got 24 hours on this system, and it's only moved one degree in heat. Once we check out the wattage, and we realize we're doing like 65 watts according to the calculation at 239 ohms divide that by uh, 125 take that answer multiply that by 125 and I'm basically doing like 0.52 watts on the actual heater and then I tag the black hole pump I don't have my gloves on which I should but uh, tag the black hole pump because that's seized that small little pump there is only like a 25th horsepower but RLA on that is 0.79 and I'm doing like 1.29 so that one seized up replaced the relief valves there's a total of five you have one in the evaporator two on the condenser and then two more on top of the oil separator and this is a master relief in case any in case of over pressurization you know, and um, we replaced those last year because they started leaking which if anybody's watching check the date on your uh, equipment and on your relief valves because after five years the spring or the gaskets tend to wear and if you have a leak that you can't find in the system that apparently shows up tight um, everywhere else then you know your best bet is your relief valves are uh, reacting to the pressure and slowly allowing your fragrance to seep out. So that's my update for right now. And for today, this is an early micro board before all the OptiViews became the stuff, became the general accepted way of controlling the chillers. But Every, all, everything else, the sequence of operation remains the same, just the technology is improved. So, hope you guys got something out of this. And um, enjoyed my presentation. This is one more thing to say, solid state starter. So we're controlling the voltage and the amperage. And running it through this trigger board here. And actually um, allowing this system to operate and as low as 10%. Not recommended for long periods, but we can get as low as 10% operation on this rotary chiller during light loads. Uh, anything else? Uh, that should be it, guys. Whoever's watching, thank you for your time, and have a good day.